Common Vaccine Side Effects Vaccine side effects and adverse events are major reasons why many people in our communities are discouraged from getting vaccinated. It is not common for people to experience adverse side effects, as mild side effects are more common. However, it is still important to support those in our community with fears of side effects or those experiencing side effects. Managing expectations about side effects is an important part of promoting vaccine efforts. In this video, we will describe common vaccine side effects and the difference between these and adverse events, including allergic reactions. We will also discuss how best to manage these symptoms when they occur. What causes side effects? As you may remember, the main job of a vaccine is to prepare the body's immune system to identify and destroy invading germs that can cause disease. In order to do this, the vaccine works by imitating the germ in order to safely train the cells in your immune system to recognize and fight the germ if it enters your body in the future. Because of this, we may feel symptoms just after vaccination, but most of these are a normal immune response and it tells us that the vaccine is working. Mild side effects are common following vaccination. In the location of the injection, these might include pain, redness and swelling. Other mild side effects may be felt throughout the body and include fatigue, muscle pain, fever, chills, headache or nausea. All of these side effects are similar to other vaccines, such as the flu vaccine. It is important to know that while they may be uncomfortable, they are not life-threatening. In most cases, these symptoms will go away within one to three days following vaccination. So what should be done if these symptoms occur? Some at-home care steps that can be taken include applying a cool wet cloth to reduce the swelling and discomfort where the vaccine was given and to help to manage a fever, drinking plenty of fluids and getting lots of rest. Use medications that help to reduce fever and aches. What is the difference between side effects and adverse events? The side effects just described are different from adverse events. An adverse vaccine event is a medical event occurring after vaccination. These may or may not be related to the use of the vaccine. While COVID-19 vaccines licensed by the World Health Organization are safe and effective when used correctly, no vaccine is completely without risk, and adverse events can sometimes occur. Adverse events can range from mild symptoms that are not serious to more severe and even life-threatening events that require an immediate medical attention. For these reasons, it is important to monitor for adverse events after a person receives a vaccine. Adverse events are very rare, occurring in less than 1% of the population. Mild adverse events include rash, weakness, and swollen lymph nodes. More severe adverse events include paralysis in the face and blood clots. Inflammation in the heart has also very rarely been observed, most commonly in teenage boys. In most cases, this is corrected with the use of anti-inflammatory medications. Another severe but rare adverse event is an allergic reaction called anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a response to the contents of the vaccine that almost always occurs immediately after vaccination. This allergic reaction results in difficulty breathing, skin reactions such as a rash and fast heart rate. To monitor for allergic reactions, people should wait 15 minutes after their injection to leave the vaccination site. Should symptoms occur, 
they can usually be successfully treated with an injection of epinephrine and may also require an antihistamine medication. People who have had a severe allergic reaction to a vaccine in the past should talk to their healthcare provider. Unless you have a severe allergy to an ingredient in the vaccine, you should still get the vaccine. The only reason why someone should not get a dose of the Pfizer or Moderna mRNA vaccine is if they have had an allergic reaction to a previous dose of an mRNA vaccine or you have an allergy to any of the vaccine ingredients. Adverse Events Unrelated to the COVID-19 Vaccine Some adverse events that are unrelated to the contents of the vaccine may be caused by someone's fear about receiving a vaccine or other worries about getting sick. Fainting is one example. To help prevent fainting, or to support those who do faint, people are asked to stay seated at the vaccination site for 15 minutes after receiving their vaccine dose. Finally, some adverse events have nothing at all to do with the vaccine or the experience. Rather, they happen around the same time but have a different cause entirely. An example may be an individual experiencing a complication from another chronic disease, such as diabetes. While it is important to know that adverse events may occur, it is equally as important to remember that getting the virus is more dangerous than getting the vaccine. It is better to get vaccinated. It is also important to know that COVID vaccines have not been shown to affect fertility, pregnancy, or breastfeeding. We will address the evidence around common myths and misinformation in another video. So, what can you do? Your knowledge and ability to communicate with members of the community can help people understand what to expect when they receive their vaccine. In your daily work, you can... Make sure that people who have been vaccinated are aware of the side effects and adverse events we discussed. Health workers at vaccination sites should provide patients with information about what to expect, how to manage common side effects, and what to do if they experience an adverse event. The description of what to do should include how to notify health workers of these experiences. All adverse events should be reported. Find out what the reporting process for adverse events is at your community vaccination sites. This usually involves completing an adverse events reporting form. While you may not be working with vaccines directly, you may be the first person in the healthcare system who is notified of an adverse event. It is important for you to know how to report adverse events in order to help the individuals in your community and to help in monitoring adverse events in your community. Identify people in the community who are eligible to get the vaccine. Talk with them to help them understand that minor side effects from COVID-19 vaccines are normal especially after the second dose of vaccines that require two doses. Use the information you have learned to describe the types of side effects that may occur. You may also want to discuss with them the benefits of vaccination, including the prevention of becoming ill, protecting others in their community from getting the virus, and helping to stop the COVID pandemic overall.